Recently, I had the opportunity to sit down with Frank Torak, the director of the film 1945. 1945 is one of the films the Claims Conference has funded recently. In the film, two Hungarian Jews return to a village after the Shoah, and the people in the town believe that the two Jews have returned to claim property, to claim restitution. As a change from our usual written weekly report, we thought it would be interesting to send some video to give you a chance behind the scenes to meet the director, to meet some of the people that we work with. I hope you enjoy my conversation with the director of the film, 1945, Mr. Frank Torak. Mondanom kell magának valamit. Az apja iratta velem a feljelentő levelet Polák ellen. Ezért vitték el előbb, mint a többieket. The black and white is much more tough and concentrate and 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 clear, and we and we're looking for a straight movie, a straight story. It's not so complicated. It was like a high noon story from uh, the westerns from the 40s or 50s, and the train arriving and uh, the strangers and people in, in in black hats, and you know, as a kind of a western. How did you come to the story? I know it's based on a, a short story, but yeah. did you know it? Is it, are you is your family connected to this? Yeah, it's a big uh, work and job for for uh, these generations to, to to tell something about that because we've got big children and they ask uh, about the grandparents and the, about the the past. So and and we need so we need to grow grow up this. Uh, complex uh, historical questions. How has the, um, the reception, how have people received it? It's really surprising, it's really good. Of course, in, in Budapest, for the intellectual people, is working well, 40,000 admissions. So it's a black and white drama, it's a, it's a huge success. And after, of course, the distribution in the US and all over Europe, this story about the countryside, uh, uh, situation. It's not a city movie. In, in Hungary, half a million uh, Jews died in countryside, mostly in countryside. After the screenings, a lot of personal stories. I, I know this uh, family and uh, um, in my family it was an example, so, so it's, it's really emotional. Ultimately, I thought the film, it was about property but it wasn't about property. It was about guilt, but not only guilt. And so I thought maybe it's about normal. What is normalcy after such a disruption in society? Of course, impossible to say it's a new life or a normal life because never again normal life. It's not possible. Have you had people see the movie and say no? This didn't happen. It wasn't like this. Uh, the people accept it, it's a, a fact. The, not about the numbers and not about the property and this kind of question, but, but na now the grown up to accept the people it was. But it, of course, is unacceptable. That's why we need to make a movie about that because we are afraid. Ten years ago in, in, in Hungary, uh, young people and uh, walking in the street with neo-nazis flags and and everything and we are afraid Farhan Stark thank you very much thank you for spending time with us today thank you for your film thank you very much